Layla and I are just admiring the really good light. Like it makes my paleness yeah. not look as pale. Do you, do you wanna do you wanna make some cookies or? Give me like two seconds. Two more seconds. You just want to admire yourself in this yeah. nice lighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. Great. Welcome everybody. We're making uh, my mom's world famous sugar cookies. They're not really world famous, <laughs> uh, but we, we've, we've got to like qualify that every time. Yeah. But this is your deal. You love these cookies. They're the best. And you love making them. I love making them. Should we just start and then we can talk about all the memories you've had making them with uh, the Grammy? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here's the deal, everybody. They're very, very simple. We're going to start with the sugar and the butter, and we're going to start whipping it together until it's all nice and lovely. So every year since I was a little kid, uh, my mom and I and my brother would make these cookies. And then when I had kids, you started doing it too. And until so I, I sort of got phased out. Yeah. We became better at you. Okay, you do. Let's speed up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got, you got it too much? You're yeah. rushing me. You gotta hold it tight. It's a process. Correct. You should tell them about how by the time we're done making the dough, the next morning, half the dough will be done. How does half the dough disappear? You. <laughs> Maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. You have to make double the amount of dough, and then he'll eat the dough, and then he'll complain about his stomach hurting from the dough, and then the next year, he'll eat the dough and complain about the stomach. Do you know my mom used to make twice the amount of dough she, she, honest to God, she used to make twice the amount of dough because she knew I'd eventually go through half the dough. I don't know why I'm proud of that. One-handed, brah. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. That's an interesting. <laughs> the monster has arrived. Come here, right, come. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Smells so good. That's why I eat it! Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Okay, ready? Okay, now we... <laughs> what? We gotta take this out, we wrap it, we saran wrap, and we put it in the fridge for at least one hour, up to 24 hours. Boom! I also got that. Me? What's the buffalo? No. We're back, Hi. and we're back with the good lighting. This is Layla's friend, Layla. Hi. Layla, Layla. Not what? Crazy stuff. Layla's cooker. This is rad, it's rad. Hi, buddy. Seems like we've rolled this out already. Yeah. We got the cookie cutters. Yeah. I'll still take this space. See, what Lila just said. What? I have to optimize the space. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is cool. This is cool. I've never done it, this technique. Wow. Where you kind of do it. Let's do it like this. All at once. Why so, not? Yeah. This is geography. This is what we learned in that. <laughs> geometry, maybe? Geometry. Right. Geography. That's what you said. You said geography. I said geometry. Oh, you did? <laughs> This is geography. This is what we learned in there. All right, everybody, 400 degrees for just like eight minutes, and they're done. They're cooling on the cooling rack. Now you're gonna put some icing and some sprinkles and everything on top, but we're just gonna take a bite now for just for fun. Cheers. Cheers. You did it. I did it. For Grammy. So good. <laughs> Everybody loves a cookie made from scratch, but during the holidays, as a busy mom, it's almost impossible. So I found a way to make a specialized cookie that doesn't take much time. You ready? Let's go. Thank you. 
You guys know that I love to start with some things that are already almost ready so that I can make it my own. And these take and bake cookies from the grocery store are perfect. Cookie dough is pretty much cookie dough, right? At least in my opinion. We're gonna up this cookie dough. We're gonna take it up a notch and make it look a little bit more like we baked it from scratch. You can just tell your husband that. So the first flavor we're gonna make is peanut butter because there's something about peanut butter cookies that Santa loves in my house. First, I always protect my hands with cookie dough because I just don't wanna get it in my jewelry or under my fingernails and it's a lot less mess to clean up. I'm gonna roll each one of my peanut butter cookies into some chocolate sprinkles because anything with sprinkles is better, right? So you first wanna roll it into a ball and then roll your ball through the sprinkles. I'll just pop it right into this cute little mini pan. And like, the more sprinkles the better in my opinion. You can get messy, no worries. You can get the kids in on this. Now, if you're not a peanut butter lover, then I have another cookie for you. And it's my sugar cookie rolled in peppermint dust. And let me just tell you this, this is a combination of flavors that you are not prepared for. Good goodness, so good. I pulled some peppermint candies in my food blender just to get a nice fine little dusting. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. And these, I'm just gonna do the edges. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking some of the work off of your plate, whether it be store-bought items or pre-seasoned things, you know. Those are always a great base, but you can just pump it up a little bit with a little bit of flavor, and it turns into something that's uniquely your own. And then you can just say, oh honey, I've been slaving away in the kitchen all day. Get some brownie points. My oven's at 350, and I'm popping them in there for about 10 to 12 minutes. Using pre-made dough and just giving it a little bit of extra juice is always the way to go. These are gonna be great, and I think Santa's gonna be pretty happy. Yep, she's happy all right. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> She's been over here sniffing the cookies. <laughs> we just got back from a girl's trip to Disney World and we ate so many cookies. What was your favorite? No contest, the gingerbread salted caramel sandwich. Oh my, I like literally just got chills. It was so good. We could not stop thinking about and talking about this cookie. So we thought we would recreate it for you guys together. We are going to make a salted caramel buttercream and then we're going to put a filling and we're gonna sandwich the cookie on top with a little bit of caramel. Well, a lot of caramel. Uh -huh. <laughs> So we're gonna start making the buttercream. We're gonna show you how to do that right now. Ready? Ready? To our creamed butter, we're adding in all of our powdered sugar. And then we like to do the towel trick, don't we, Jules? Yes. Okay, okay. so go ahead. So we're gonna put the towel over our mixer just so we don't have a powdered sugar explosion. Woo! Then we're gonna add in our heavy cream. It's coming together. Then we can add in some caramel. On our girls trip, we got matching shirts, we got matching sweatshirts, and we were going for um, one of our friend Nicole for her 50th birthday. So we were there celebrating a milestone. It was very special and wonderful, and we created memories that we're gonna have forever. Juliana is actually a travel agent, and she is an expert at all things Disney. So she is your girl. Jules, what are your three best travel tips? Huh have so many tips, but my three best tips would probably be to set a budget with your family mm -hmm. and then start planning. Yes. Uh, plan early. Yes. And honestly, use a travel agent because they're free and we just love what we do. Yes, I know. And you know what? Sometimes I feel like, I don't know if you experience this a lot with people, but I feel like, you know, a busy mom and you got kids and it's like, oh my gosh. I want to go on a trip, but I'm so overwhelmed. And that's where she comes in. 
And like she said, she's free. All right, so our buttercream is done and we are going to make our sandwiches. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh. That takes me right back to Disney World. Like this is so amazing.